Hello everyone, welcome to my unboxing of two custom pieces of art by none other than the talented, the beautiful, gorgeous Leo Bebrechner. If you haven't seen her Instagram account, you might go check it out. She gives painting classes and all that. She's just a really sweet, nice um, lady. And I'm so grateful and thankful she um, allowed me to hire her to do two custom pieces of art, which I have hanging in my dressing area. And the way she told me she wanted to do it was to have a photo submitted that would ideally be um, not smiling, just a real flat look on the face. And then she would take that photo and she's great. She can even show you um, on, you know, webcam or Zoom or the Instagram video feed, you know, how she can so quickly manipulate it in Photoshop or whatever program she's using. Um, and um, she takes that and she, she sets it up with flowers and other items in the background. And then she uses that as a template then of some sort and paints it. She has several different painting techniques that she uses on these. Um, and <clears throat> uh, check this out. I love how these boxes open. <laughs> if you see my prior two videos, I have the sun and one with Frida Kahlo, but it's all candy that I unboxed that you might wanna see. Um, this is the custom. Anyway, so Leoba <clears throat> does that. And so there's, uh, this is a mother daughter and you can see these paintings that are on her, um, her Instagram feed. But I also, not only did I get the actual original paintings and for the direct, the exact information on how she made those, if you like paintings, all that kind of stuff, You'll have to go to her. Um, I don't have those notes in front of me and I haven't entered my foray into painting except for some attempt at paint by numbers, which I'm gonna be working on. But uh, anyway, I had these converted to a diamond painting and she, I think she's exclusively with DIY Moonshop. Um, her work is gorgeous. It's, I, I love her painting. I love her work and so, I had, if I ever get custom artwork, I ask, you know, can I have permission to turn this into a diamond painting? And most people say, yeah, they have no problem. And I know Dreamer Designs with their customs, they're like, if you just have an email from the artist saying, okay, you know, we'll make the custom, which I thought was awesome. Why well, have a long legal form? I don't know why more artists don't just put like a permission form on their website, $15, you know, you can use it for, you know, a diamond painting or you can use it you know, have a limited license, limited permission to use it in whatever context. Um, I wish they did because there's all kinds of artists. I'd be like, here's $15, here's 20. But not that I really need to buy more diamond paintings, but that's a different story. So here we go. This is the first custom that I ordered um, with Leoba Breckner. And this was taken, oh, it's coming the opposite way. This was taken from a photo of me but it doesn't, it didn't really turn out and look like me. Um, and it was a very flat effect, the facial expression, because she just did not want a happy face. I really wanted a happy face, but we'll talk more on that. Oh, there's the toolkit. You wanna see that. And this is the toolkits that they're currently sending as of September, 2022, where you get the the two wax squares, you get wax in a container, a squishy, a three-placer, a larger multi-placer, tweezers. And so, um, but anyway, I'd, I'd asked Leoba about, hey, can I also get a diamond painting of your customs? And she said, oh, nobody's um, asked me for that before. Okay, but she said, you have to use DIY Moonshop to get the custom printed. And I said, well, okay, <laughs> sure. So I asked that I asked them if they would be okay with that and they were fine and they talked to Leoba and it was no problem. Um, 
So, okay, so I'm trying to smooth this. For those of you who are unfamiliar, um, who are not as familiar, these, see how right that, that's from, it was just in a really nice, neat roll, and it left a little bit of an indention, but that's gonna come out as it lays flat or hangs flat with time, and this is gonna help it just look a little bit better. Um, so you can see the canvas, you know, fresh from its unboxing. Let's see, there we go. And the corners can help. But none of that's, none of that ridging there, none of that will stay. Oh yeah, look how much that helps. So at the corners. Ooh, it's really common at them. Okay, so this custom um, by the, from Leoba Bruckner and DIY Moon Shop is beautiful, but it is called Annette by Leoba Bruckner. It is 45 by 55 centimeters, and this is the size that the original artwork is. So when we were talking about what size we wanted, I said, well, why don't we just get it the same as the original artwork, like what I have hanging in my house? And we decided, great, we do that. We did get round drills. So here's the drill package. And they do these nice Ziploc bags that are great because you can avoid having to use a bead storage kit if you want and just use a marker and put the symbol on there. You have a pre-printed sheet, which I always scan and keep, and I may or may not cut out the codes in color. I don't have a color printer, you know, or a sticker printer that I know how to use well. So, okay, so this one has 43 colors, which is even more colors than the two that I previously unboxed today that will be posted, and that's the sun by Anna Neves and Frida Kahlo by Ellen Lescote. So really, just just pretty. So, um, and you know, this also, oh, one more thing. On this particular style, the two customs that I have have basically different color palettes. So this one is gonna have a lot of browns and gold. And Leova has another piece of work where, um, it's a slightly different girl, but it's just, uh, it's, it's kind of, hey, you want one like this? And you go, yeah. And then you can get the picture that you want um, here. It took about nine months to get the custom artwork and then a couple months to get this with the diamond painting. So this has been a year in the works. But anyway, when I look at the uh, symbols here, maybe I can put them up so you can see them too. Okay. I'm looking to see if in this custom render, if they did any ABs, and look, they did. So they have 819 right there. It's the letter L, and you can choose the AB or not. So we're gonna see how they placed it, and there is only that L. Now from looking at the original artwork, which I will even more, but you know, after this unboxing, before I start it and contemplate it, um, this, these sections right here and right here, they, they're very, very gold. They're very golden, which lends itself to something like the uh, metallic gold drill by Diamond Dots, and they have <laughs> metallics that can go all the way from gold to antique gold to just different shades of gold. So it, but it strikes me like um, foil, gold leaf foil gold. So there's some here, 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 and there's, let me see how much confetti is in that. Okay, a lot of it is the color that's represented by X. 
they put C by it. So we'll wanna check out X. They've used color 3822. So let me open this and I'll put it on time-lapse so you don't have to hear the crinkle and we'll take a look at those. Okay guys, so check it out. We have AB819, which when I first looked at it, I was like, that looks like it's gonna be the skin tone. And AB's on skin tone? Maybe, if your skin's shiny and you've got that highlighted glow from your makeup application or whatnot. But uh, check it out. So I looked here and apparently the AB choice of regular or sparkle is all in these lighter colors right here up through the face. Maybe that's a hint on how I should be highlighting my face with my makeup, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna have to experiment with that. I've not tried that before. So I don't know which I'll do, but then they also have it up here on the L's through the flower make sure you can see right there l's all in here all in here a few in here a few in here um offhand i'm not seeing any lower down here i'm not seeing any in her chest here where it's lighter, no, just L, L, L's. And then we have some L's up in here, a lot right there. L's, lots of L's, lots of L's up in here. So we've got this central situation. So that's gonna be cool. I'll have to wait and see. And overall, I like this color palette. We also have, so the one yellow color right here, this is what is for the gold. That's gonna be here, here, and here. And yeah, I mean, this yellow would look really pretty if I wanna use the yellow. And maybe I don't wanna use metallic gold at all because there's not a lot of different spots where it is. And maybe the, the color yellow is gonna give it, you know, right here, 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 is gonna give it the, the pop um, better than even the gold metallic drill. So sometimes the drills that come with it are great. You don't need, you know, any specials or embellishments. So um, yeah, I think this is really fun. The canvas, that everything's real clear. It looks like DIY Moon. So from all the unboxings I've done is they've gone to a, or I'm just noticing. Um, oh, well this one, not so much. So that it's letters with a few numbers, but here we do have a few symbols, equals, plus in question mark, that's it. So out of 43, there's only three that are symbols. Most of them are upper or lowercase letters and then a few numbers in there. So yeah, this is beautiful, this is great. And so I can't wait now to open the next one and show you it. And so let me put this up and then I'll get ready. So you can see there, the original artwork does look more gold than yellow. Although depending on the other drills with it, maybe yellow would look better in the diamond painting. See up there in the corner, you have the LA, it's brown there. But look right there, there it really gleams where it's gold, gold, gold. And right there at the bottom, gold. So I really have to see how the other colors look around it before making the decision.
Okay, I'm back. I put the other one up and here's the second custom by Leova Breckner. And this one is my favorite because it was based off a photo of my mom, but it's gonna have a different color palette depending what your preference is. This has a lot of pinks in it. I love the stickers on the end. I love the fact that their boxes open like this. So it's like a display or a presentment. Looks like there's a little damage in shipping, but the box did its job. It protected the canvas. So this canvas is called Catherine and it should be 45 by 45, <clears throat> which is the same size of the artwork that I purchased. Hey, where is it? Here we go. I want you to have to listen to too much rustling there. Okay, so here it is without further ado. Wow, we have 38 colors in this one. I'm gonna flatten this canvas out as much as I can. Time will take care of the rest. As it's hanging or laying flat, it will flatten out. But I'm gonna roll this the opposite way. which you can with your canvases at home too, if you don't know already. All right. I'm too eager, I didn't, I didn't do that for long enough probably, but <clears throat> last time I thought this worked well. All right, so I think I did turn on an extra light here in my dining room. And I don't know if that might make the video look better, but both canvases have very a very clear drill field. There's no problems at all seeing what it is. <clears throat> and the fact there aren't a lot of symbols and they're just letters. Let's see, are they just letters and numbers? The other ones were mostly that. I think they're primarily going to be letters and numbers. The last one just had a couple symbols on it, but they were not symbols that were strange, odd, nor offhand. Did they strike me as being capable of being easily confused with something else? I'm going to work on it. I could have a different idea on that. Oh, so here's the AB. AB321. Hang on. Okay, guys. I have no idea if my dogs are going to listen to me. But I yelled at them. You can hear some grumbling. All right. So here you have the pre printed sheet. It does not come with stickers. But if you need these, these are great. Sometimes I do not put these in storage bead containers. I just take a black Sharpie and write. The, the image symbol number on there, which it's super easy to do because it does appear that like the other kits, let me finish. Oh, we only have letters, the number three and seven and they're uppercase and lowercase letters, no symbols. So that makes it super easy to just write on these packages what the corresponding letter or number is that's on on the canvas and um, I like that because I've done that before and I'm trying to draw weird shapes and um, it's not been convenient but this way the way they've changed it it is okay so look at that I love this shade of pink it's like a mauvey dusty rose pink it's one of, just one of my Absolute favorites. And then look at that purple. Ooh, you know it's gonna be all in there. We have a darker purple by 50.
perfect gray. Ooh, -hoo. see, look at these two together. I like that color palette a lot with a gray blue under hues. My Angel of Justice, the, the smoke of clouds at the bottom had that and I just loved it. You can check out that review on my channel as well. It's a gorgeous Dakota Detweiler, but look at that. What a perfect shade. You know, I diamond paint on some of these and I think about the artist when they actually did the painting. How that may have worked for them. And I know you can just, with the same color of paint, you can make it darker or lighter. And when you look at the DMC color chart, and it's got the same color and it says light, or just the color, or dark, or very dark. So I view those as kind of being that, that paint stroke, depending how heavy the color is being applied. I don't wanna cover. Catherine's face there. Let's see, look at that. Those are great for skin tones that match with the color palette. 939, those look good. I like to compare. Okay, so I like to always compare and do a check of 939 versus 823 to make sure the colors are different. I got a kit on Amazon where the color was identical and they told me it was the same, but it wasn't, it was on my peacock and it really bummed me out. It was a big painting and took me a while. It's one of my first paintings, but so I always double check these two and then I compare them um, to black, but you know, DIY Moon, they didn't, I've never had that problem with them, but it's just one of those things I do and I do see situations where this has a very obvious color difference to me looking at it. Um, sometimes they're so close to be negligible. And so I make a decision how I want to handle that um, based on where they're placed. You know, do I want to replace the drill altogether? Do I want to just make it the same color? There's different options. Anyway, for those of you who aren't on Instagram, you might buzz over um, and check out this artist. I have an Instagram page there as well. It's Tracy Shine Bright, and I do lots of posts. I have a big whip rotation where um, I switch out a lot of different paintings that I'm working on because I'm trying to experiment and figure out which ones I really enjoy the most. And for now, I'm really all over the board. You know, one group of people I really respect are the people that go, I like landscapes. That's all I want to do is landscapes. And I really love the landscapes too. But for me, the landscapes seem harder um, or more intimidating to me and than just a character in the middle with pretty things around it and I don't or an animal or you know whatnot but the landscapes are um, really gorgeous and I'm looking to get into that and you know if you diamond paint you know how do you feel about landscapes versus you know characters or single figures like animals and whatnot versus a larger more sprawling um, type diamond painting and then another question too is, you know, have you gotten any custom artwork? And I know that most of us who've been in this for a while, and when you start out, a lot of people might have wind up, wound up with some unlicensed art. And I really feel like artists should have something on their page to say $15 and you have permission to use this. So even if you inadvertently do that, then after the fact, you can go correct the situation but, and I've tried to do that with some of mine, but I can't get people to contact me back. This was perfect because I paid Leoba for the original artwork 
and then I got her permission, but she said, yeah, you just have to use DIY Moonshop. And so <clears throat> they work with her, they know her, and so they printed this for me and um, set this out, and it's just beautiful. You know, she, I love this one. I love the pink and pastels and the color palette. And the prior one had a lot of the browns and blacks when it's done. I'm not sure the renderer is gonna show that, but right now the room I'm in, my dining uh, main living area is brown and black. So I had a lot of brown and black due to work for years. And then I started trying to switch over to something different, which would be silver, pinks, blues, dusty rose, uh, and um, that this matches. So I've got the old and the new um, represented in these two. I've got the original artwork and I've got the custom diamond paintings and I really feel like, wow, you know, my set is complete. I'm in love with this. I'm in love with Leoba Bruckner's work. You should check her out. She does do a lot of uh, characters, usually women. Um, and yeah, it would be incredible if she did landscapes as well um in the way she does because the beauty of how she um of how she paints and how she uses texture and color um could be used in any way in any type of art and it's just gorgeous it's just really really gorgeous and she is a very pretty beautiful woman beautiful uh person and was a real pleasure to work with so if you want to work with her on any of yours, just send her a message on Instagram. You'll probably hear from her. She's pretty on top of all that stuff, very on top of it, and just wonderful. All right, guys, I got distracted with the dogs barking. All right, then I was going to show you where the APs were. So see that number seven, that bright, punchy orange, orange red? That's it. You go up here. Got a few right in there. I'm just going up the right side of the canvas. Just go right there and there. You can see the drill film. We've got, that's the skin, so. A lot of O's there. See, that's Xander. He doesn't like being put up. But I'm really looking for sevens here. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of the sevens. And so I'll pull back and show you. See those bright ones there? Those are seven. So. Okay, so we have a little bit of seven splashed here. A little bit of that AB over in there. And we have it highlighting in here. Um, and I actually, there's one little seven there. So but there's not gonna be many, there's a few up there. And there she is, Catherine yeah. by Leo Bruckner. And here's the original painting. And it doesn't have any metallics that just strike out. Look at that flower, that's so pretty. Look how she did those strokes right there. The little flowers up there and the butterfly. Up there. See how it's dripping down. Pick up the green. And that paint run is a style that she uses. She kind of flicks her brush to cause little dots sometimes too. I don't see that she used that here, but you can see it in her other. Anyway, it's just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Leova. So thank you guys so much. I hope you like this. You know, leave me a comment on how you feel if you have any custom artwork or how you feel about um, landscapes versus characters and let me know any other thoughts that you have and please like and subscribe so I know that you like these and I'll keep doing them and I haven't been posting regular I just kind of post when I have time or the mood strikes um, with more people that are interested I've got all kinds of stuff I can post probably 
Um, I have a very large stash. <laughs> I haven't done a stash video yet, but I've posted a few pictures on Instagram and you can check it out. But beautiful drill field, easy to see. It's gonna be easy to tell what the colors are. And you don't even have to go to the time and trouble to kit up. You can just get one of these boxes like I have from Michael's, from Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or any craft store. They probably have them, you know, places like uh, Walmart and Target and, and that too. So thanks so much for stopping by. Here's the toolkit, like the other one that came with it. And remember, shine bright. Bye, guys.